All right, I went to the thrift store with my girlfriend today and I got a bunch of stuff. And I think I got some pretty good stuff too. So I guess I'll just start at the first thrift store. Uh, there was an incident in every thrift store too. So let me close my window. Thank you. Um, I found a ton of stuff though. In the first thrift store, the Mormon Deseret Industries, I found a bunch of these, actually found seven to be exact, sets of figs, scrubs, not a good size. They're size extra, extra small and bad price. They're $15 a piece for each set. But I think I should be able to get 35 bucks a piece at least for the sets and they're in cool colors. The incident was that the cashiers there, I was a jerk. The cashiers there like to, if you have multiple items for the same price, they go, how many $15 things is it? And then I'll be like, um, one, two, there's seven of them. And then they like count them and then they like to do like 15 times, however many there are. And I said, can you please do them individually? Because Every time I come here, you guys do that. And then I go to my car and I count them and then it's wrong and I have to come back. And it's happened before multiple times. And I specifically picked the smartest looking cashier, um, which was a longer line, just because I thought she would be able to do this better, but she messed up anyways and charged me $15 extra. So then we go to the car, come back out or come back in and I was aggressive. I said, I told you, please don't overcharge me. And you still overcharge me. Yeah, so uh, my girlfriend was disappointed in me. I I was almost excited to go back in there and scold her. But, you know, my girlfriend said, you know, imagine you, you're working there and then someone yells at you. And then the whole day you're thinking about it, it ruins your whole day. So, you know, I used to work jobs like that. So I understand you shouldn't yell at people. But, uh... I did yell at her. Well, I didn't yell at her. I just kind of made a lot of rude. I was like, I think she did it on purpose. I said stuff like that. You know, I was rude. So I'm gonna go back in there. I'm gonna say, I'm sorry. I remember I'm the guy that yelled at you last time. Sorry about that. But I knew it was gonna happen. I said it to her beforehand. I said, please don't overcharge me. These are $15 a piece, so I really don't want to be over. It would be different if she overcharged me $5, but they're $15. And like, I literally, we counted these together. How do you overcharge me still? It's insane. Like every single time you shop there, you have to count what you got because they overcharge you every single time. It's ridiculous. See, I'm already upset about it again. But you know, we're going to move past that. It was a great deal. I think I'll make like 20 bucks a piece on each of those. I think there's... Here's another one. That's a pair of pants, actually, that was eight bucks. My girlfriend found these carrots. Carrots is a good brand. These are, um, what do you call these? Full seat breeches, like riding pants. I, th I think they're full seat because it goes all the way up to the butt, the padding. They're for riding horses. And carrots, like if you find their jackets, those are really, really good. And they're out there. This, I kind of, Barely looked up. It's James Purse. It's kind of like a little Y2K looking little baby tee crop top thing. I don't know, maybe 15 bucks on that or something. Not great. I'm just, it was only two, $2 or no, $4 on that. Damn it. I thought that was a $2 one. Sorry. I lied to you. It was $4. Probably shouldn't have bought it. Maybe, maybe it was good. I don't know. These are pretty good. These are territory ahead drawstring elastic waist i don't know if this is knit or woven or what but if you find their shorts these are rare because i was looking for a pair of these for a super long time because i really like their shorts that are like this i'm going to try these on and they probably won't fit and i'll sell them but i think like 30 bucks on those actually this is i didn't look this up either to be honest with you it's a collab between anthropology and soul angeles i have picked up a soul angeles t-shirt before 
So I just kind of trusted myself from the past that it was something worth picking up, but it was only $2 on that. Are we still recording? So yeah, that was the first incident and I yelled at the, at the lady and I'm still feeling kind of bad about that. Um, oh, this is a different to start. This is good. Here's some more Deseret stuff. This I saw right when I walked in. The company is Task Performance. They make bamboo stuff. Really good, really fast selling stuff. I highly, highly recommend picking up anything Task. Super good. I don't know what this crap on the front is. I don't even really mind it being there because Task stuff is so good. I also picked up a Heavenly Tahoe thing. I was thinking, you know, it's ski season. All my skateboard friends are posting snowboard clips on Instagram right now. Maybe somebody would want this. I do well with ski resort stuff in general. It was only two bucks. Should be fine. Should be like 10, 15 bucks. Oh, I don't even, I shouldn't have bought this. It's a really plain Panhandle Slim shirt. I always start off each thrift store, like, I just pick up one thing as soon as possible, because it just kind of gets the ball rolling, so I just take one thing that's kind of, you know, marginal, and throw it in the cart, and then I just feel like it brings good things after that, and it did, I found a lot of good stuff. This isn't that great. If it was a Panhandle Slim Pearl Snap with, like, a cool pattern on it or something, it might be worth six bucks, but for me personally, these are like a $15 item. I know that there are people that say they sell them for like more than that, but not me. We're still at the Mormon thrift store. Another just $2 t-shirt. I thought it was kind of cool. Makita power tools. If it said like um, snap on on it, that would be great, but it's Makita. But I'm sure there's somebody who likes to rep Makita. Carhartt button up, not a good item, but they sell all day for around like 10 bucks. Definitely not something to get excited about, but it's what you call bread and butter. Another similar type item. There's one type of L.L. Bean shirt. I think it's called like the Sun Faded, L.L. Bean Sun Faded shirt, something like that. One gentleman, if you're watching this, he left a comment on another video and he was like, 150% sell rate on L.L. Bean Sun Faded shirt or something like that. So I didn't look this up. I don't know if this is the same thing. I think the Sun Faded ones, Sun Faded are, they have two pockets here and they're like a thicker canvas. This was $4. This is like a $15 item, maybe. Got some territory ahead, just like a... I don't know what they call this. Sometimes um, you'll find stuff that's one of these cool colors, like, and I think it's called garment dyed. I don't know, but it's just a cool polo shirt. It's like 15 bucks. Girlfriend found this for four bucks. Where are you, camera? Right there. It's a, uh, just a Nike Pro combat athletic shirt. Got a cool pirate on there. I've sold a bunch of their men's leggings that had this same pirate. I don't know if this is a team or not a pirate. It's a, <laughs> I don't know anything about sports. So I call football players pirates. Uh, <laughs> it's like a creepy skull football player, a pirate. Yeah. Um, so I don't think that's going to hurt the value because I sold a bunch of them with that guy on there. I don't know if that's a third party thing or if the Nike actually put that on there, but I think it's going to be fine because I've sold, like I just said a thousand times, a bunch of those with the pirate. All right, what else? Same thrift store. I got a TNLO button-up shirt. I bought one of these a couple months ago. And I looked at the sell rate on that specific shirt. I think it was called like camp shirt or something. And it was really high. And it never sold. And then I went to a thrift store. And then I found another one. And I was like, well, the last one didn't sell. So I'm not going to pick up this one. And then right when I left that thrift store, the other one sold. I was like, damn, I should have picked up the other one. So I picked up this one. It's like a super silky, soft, flowy button-up shirt. And when I look up comps, most of them are women's. So I don't know if it's a women's that has the buttons on the wrong side, but I don't know. 
TNLO. It's made in USA too. This was the best find from that thrift store. I think like maybe, I'm gonna list it for like $90. Um, probably get like 70 or something. It's a Cabela's Dry Plus hunting overalls. Camo. Yeah, always look up any overalls you find in the men's section. There's a lot of junky overalls in the women's section, but I'd say in the men's section, if it's like workwear overalls or oh, shoot. outdoorsy overalls, I don't even know where to put this stuff. <clears throat> put them on the ground. They're usually worth looking up. Oh. Let's see. My girlfriend found this. Comps were pretty good. I've never heard of this. I think it says Laurel Birch. And it's got this really cool pattern or print of these like cool dogs. So ladies in the comments, do you know anything about this? I think it's like a $35, $40 item based on what I saw. And it was only two bucks. So hopefully that works out for us. And somebody on another video was like, oh, your girlfriend and her mom when thrifting for you, do you list the stuff they find and then give them the money? <laughs> I told them that you guys said that. I was, they were like, ah. oh, no. They just like hanging out with me. I do buy my girlfriend a lot of stuff. I bought her a Kindle today. It was a hundred bucks. And I found a $2 511 tactical shirt, women's. Nothing special there. Probably like 10, 15 bucks or something like that. That. More from the same thrift store. Oh, more figs. Ton of these babies. Uh, seven to be exact. Seven sets. Pretty good deal. Bad size though. So probably gonna take a while to sell. But I think having the sets, the full sets, is gonna help me out a little bit. And the, the shirt size matches the pant size. But sometimes when I find the sets, that's not the case. It'll be like big butt, little top. The figs, that's what the logo looks like. They make scrubs. They're all over the place. They're worth grabbing. They do a lot of sales online right now, which occasionally hurt the value, but then it usually comes back. And they don't suffer as much as they used to, but they're still good. Okay, where are we here? I'm confused. Give me a second. Give me a second here. Oh, here we go. Second thrift store. I think this is really good. I. This is like what, uh, if you subscribe to like uh, the daily refinement group or whatever, Tekken Sports, who does like a lot of um, polo ruffler and always talks about this, like the bear. Pretty sure that's a vintage. The uh, One way to tell that it's older is if it's uh, stitched in uh, white or like light silver or whatever. I think it's white. Um, and then the modern ones are yellow. But I don't, I don't know if I can, oh, it's tiny. Oh, I'll try it on later. I might keep it. I think it'd probably be worth like at least 75 bucks, I think. I just looked it up briefly. I don't know why I felt like looking up hats. Because I had my girlfriend looking at all the clothes. So I was like, oh, look it up a couple of hats. This company, 11 Miami. Their hats were selling new. Like, good sell through rate for like 40 bucks. And there was like one sold for like 30 that was used. And like one listed. So it was a good sell through rate, but not a huge volume. So I was like, you know what, whatever, I'll just pick it up. I know I don't really do hats, but I just, I was in a mood. And the incident that happened in this thrift store was, um, there's this girl at the bins who, I think she thinks I'm a cutie. Cause she always comes up to me and she's like, oh, hi there, are you again, huh? And like says stuff like that. Nice girl. But I was in the thrift store with my girlfriend. So this girl's like, oh, hi, it's you from the bins. And I was like, oh fuck. And then my girlfriend's behind this girl. My girlfriend's gonna watch this video. She doesn't care. She's standing behind this girl looking at me like, there's this girl talking to you. 
And then I was like, oh, hi. Yeah, I didn't recognize you without the mask. And then um, I winked at my girlfriend. <laughs> and then uh, she was like, yeah, hi. And I just stopped talking. I didn't know what to do because my girlfriend was watching me talk to another girl. So I kind of just, I kind of was mean. I was just like, oh, yeah. Huh? It was, it's really tricky when you have a girlfriend and like girls talk to you. It's like, okay, you know, you don't want to be mean. Um, what are you supposed to do without getting in trouble? Like, if you talk to them and be nice, then what if they want to, like, hang out? And I asked my girlfriend, I was like, okay. So she was like, you should have been nice. And I was like, well, what if she wants to hang out? I talk to her all the time. What if she wants to hang out? And then she was like, well, you can't. And I was like, okay, so then what's the point of talking to her? All right, anyways. Some Levi's shorts for two fifty. Actually, $3. And some more Levi's shorts. These ones are two fifty. I always pick up the camo cargo. But yeah, that was an incident. And then I was like, oh my god, I'm mean. I was mean to the girl. Oh, this is terrible. Everything is terrible. And I'm still upset about yelling at the other girl and the other one. We did find some good stuff in there, though. I found two pairs of these for $7.50. Um, they are... This logo here is uh, Eddie Bauer First Ascent, which is similar to Travex. Eddie Bauer Travex and that it is better than regular Eddie Bauer. Basically regular Eddie Bauer, I think they sell it at Costco and that's why it sucks. But if you find um, Travex and First Ascent, like see, the, this was 80 bucks um, originally. But Eddie Bauer from Costco is like $13. So there is good Eddie Bauer out there. And these, I got two of those new with tags for half off of $15, so $7.50. Um, I found this big guy here. I don't love listing this stuff. Um, oh, and then I was like making my girlfriend stand next to me the whole time so that the girl would see that I had a girlfriend. So she would um, stop talking to me. Because I don't want to get in trouble. It's a Western... Uh, blazer and it has a yoke. That's what that Y O K E, I believe that's called. Uh, Thrift Life was doing a video and he was like, oh, I can't remember what this is called. And I was like, yoke, because I knew what it was. I was like, feeling all cool. This company is called Circle S, I believe. And it's pretty good. You can get like over 50 bucks for these guys. I'm going to stack this one nicely. So that I don't have to steam it. And it's almost like a heavy, like, it's almost denim. I'm going to go ahead and call it denim. So I'm going to list it for like 75 bucks or something. Okay. I feel like we got more at that thrift store. I was trying to go in order of thrift stores for there to be more of a narrative to my day. Um, oh, here we go. So we're still at uh, St. Vincent de Paul with my girlfriend. And my girlfriend called the other girl my... She called her my other girlfriend. You know, I don't even know her name. Um, this, I think, is going to be like a $7,500 item based on what I saw. It's a... I could be wrong. I don't know anything about soccer, guys. And I know there are some people out there that know about this this is a club america soccer jersey from nike and it came with the shorts that go with it so i don't know if that's gonna help i'm sure it will but i saw like one sold comp for like up there i think it was 75 or 100 or something like that so hopefully that works out for me okay all right cuba vera sucks but I've picked up, I've dabbled in them lately, Cuba Vera shirts. The, the linen ones, if they have something cool going on, sold a couple of them. Because I always never picked them up, because they're everywhere. This one just had a nice paisley pattern. And it was, this was $4. So I paid up on that one. For a Cuba Vera shirt, I'd say $4 is a lot. I think I can get 15 for that, hopefully. Got another one of those shirts. Now this specific one, the sold comps were like 30 bucks. And it's got some wear on the back. 
but this one was cheaper than the other one. I think the other one was like eight bucks. This one was five bucks. So I don't know, maybe 30 bucks on this one. I don't know anything about soccer. And I think it's legit because if you look on the interior, um, that is the legit Nike material tag. And then underneath there's the legit Nike style code tag. But I have found things that I'm fairly certain are real Nike that didn't have that tag. So, you know, you just got to kind of go with your gut. You're probably not going to get in trouble if you accidentally sell something fake, but it's not good business. Here's another thing that might be fake. Girlfriend found this. Hermes. Button up shirt. Good girlfriend knowing that was good, right? You know, it feels nice. It feels different. That's what she said. She said, I don't know if it's real, but it feels different. It does feel different. But looking at this tag, does this look legit? I want to ask you guys. Okay, here's this tag. You getting a good look at that? And then here's this tag. So you guys can maybe tell me, does this look fake? And it looks like that there. Now the other side is the sketchy looking side. Or is that sketchy? I don't know. That's what it looks like. Do you think it's fake? Here's the material. The material is very nice. There's the button. Looks like a nice little button. The stitching's all great. Is it real? I don't know. I'll just sell. Uh, I don't know. I'll do a little googling, but let me know. Do you think it's real? Because I know Hermes is heavily, heavily faked. Girlfriend found this for. 250. It's an Abercrombie, like almost like a sweater. Women's cool little pattern on there. One loose stitch on the front. No big deal. Chop that right off. Girlfriend found these. Girlfriend found a lot today. Some REI co op hiking shorts. Women's size two, not a good size, but these are only 250. I have to look this up. Girlfriend found this only $1. And I was in line and I was like, I don't have time to look it up. So I just bought it. The company is called Oisel. So if that's good, I'll leave a comment saying that it's good or it's bad. Oisel. It feels nice. It's a pair of athletic shorts. Like that looks nice. That little tag there. Can you see that? Could be bad though. Who knows? It was only a dollar. I will look it up and I'll let you know. I can't look it up because the phone is in. The phone is filming me. Otherwise, I would look it up now. Grabbed a Life is Good t-shirt for $2. Women's scoop neck, I think that's called. Or is that a boat neck? Ladies, is that a scoop or a boat? I don't know. My lips are dry. Hey, I'm doing that. Sorry if I go like this a lot. I'm thirsty. This is a Lululemon shirt. My girlfriend found it. Um, it was $7.50. We got it for her. If it doesn't fit her, then I'll sell it and get like 15, 20 bucks or something. An Abercrombie and Fitch, kind of like a Y2K t-shirt for $2. Kaylee Elaine said in the recent video that she's selling Abercrombie and Fitch t-shirts for $25. Here's a uh, Rourke Revival. I haven't looked this up in a long time. Used to be pretty darn good for the t-shirts. Um, so I just went with my gut. It was $4 and I purchased it. No big deal. If it sucks, it sucks. I'm sure I'll get my four bucks back. Gotta keep the roll going. You know, I can't look up every single item, but you gotta do your research eventually. Uh, Coolie Bar shirt. Oh, that's a women's one. Just like a UPF shirt. It's okay. It's like outdoor brand. It was... Oh, sorry. The Rourke Revival shirt was $3, not $4. It was 25% off of orange. $3 for that as well. Great prices at this thrift store. New with tags. Um, this logo means that it's uh, Project Rock. Like Dwayne The Rock Johnson's line of 
Under Armour, I believe. Like this t-shirt was originally 35 bucks, which is pretty standard for a t-shirt. That's not that expensive. I think I would get at least 15 bucks for it. It was $5, half off of 10. It says, focus. Kind of lame, kind of cheesy. But I will gladly sell that. Girlfriend found this. She was like, is this? No, not this. Sorry. There's another one she found. Um, I found this. No, did, did she find this? One of us found this. It was only $2.50. It's just a Madewell shirt. It's kind of like a oversized. Ladies, what is this kind of sleeve called? This is one of the excellent things about having this eBay or YouTube channel, I mean. I say I don't know what something is. 20 ladies will tell me. It's great. I have a 50-50 ratio of men to women. I think that's pretty impressive for a 30-year-old man YouTuber to have half women. It's pretty impressive. It's hard to get the women to watch. Um, from what I've heard from other YouTubers. $1. Uh, green tags are $1. This is a Harley Davidson women's pearl snap um button up shirt i don't know how much that's worth but definitely worth buying for a dollar i got this for a one dollar it's a pink dolphin shirt or a tank top which is not good uh i just remember tech and sports was talking about it it's um pink dolphin is uh, a reference to ecstasy pills there was a type of ecstasy pill, the Pink Dolphin. And that is a company that makes like crappy clothing, this company. So I got it, I was like, oh. Um, girlfriend found this. Company, Vocal. Company does not look great on Vocal, but I typed in this specific item and there were seven listed and seven sold. Um, studs was one of my keywords that I used studs um i think they make like biker western wear chick clothes it's made in usa so it's got to be a little bit of quality there um yeah i grabbed it for four dollars i don't know i don't know how much it's worth it's got some little rhinestones on it for one dollar i just grabbed this lucky brand women's top with some embroidery on it I'm sure that's fine probably worth five or ten dollars oh this is the one girlfriend found she was like is this good and i was like yeah that's good that's great and i'm such a genius i'll tell you why i'm such a genius um it's eileen fisher and then she was like oh see it's got like little fuzz balls on the fabric and i was like well it's because it's linen look at the material tag is it linen and then she looked at the material tag and she was like oh yep linen because linen always has like these kind of little snaggy things for some reason. Because I think it's a organic material. So it doesn't make perfect fibers. Yes, yeah, so I'm a genius because I knew it was linen just by looking at it. I used to do this a lot. My hair is kind of greasy, sorry. Um, my girlfriend doesn't like this. Oh, my hair's not long enough, but I go, mind freak with my hair like that. I felt like a mind freak, basically. Yeah. I mean, it would work better. You would understand it if my hair was... I used to have hair that go, went down to there. Anyways. Uh, this is amazing. This is a t-shirt from... Guess what brand? Icebreaker. I found this one. It's merino wool. They make merino wool bracelets. This one just has an amazing fish graphic on it. Oh, three dollars, twenty-five percent off of four. And what do you want to guess? I'm gonna feel it, and I'm gonna guess ninety-eight percent merino wool, ninety-five percent merino wool. Well, that didn't say. It doesn't have a material tag. I promise it doesn't. This thing says. Some junk on it. It's certainly merino wool though. I know what merino wool feels like and that's an amazing find. I wish I had a material tag though. 
And it doesn't have the size either, but I think it's a large. It's good. It's definitely a very good item. I'll price that for like 40 bucks. At least. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that's everything from this store. If the next thrift store, hold on guys. This next thrift store was amazing. I want to just start off with the amazing stuff. This can't all be from that thrift store, can it? What's this? Did I find this today? I'm so confused right now. Okay, I'm just going to show you everything that's in these bags because I am confused. Oh no, this one is from, this one's from yesterday, sorry. Do I have one more bag? Well, maybe I'll show you this stuff too. That's from yesterday. Damn it, where's the bangers? Okay, we'll just get to the bangers when we find them. At this thrift store, here's some carbon to cobalt shorts. Everything smells nice today too, that's good. Probably 15, 20 bucks on those. This is not a banger. But their t-shirts there are only two bucks. It's just some NASCAR shirt with whoever that guy is. Could be a banger, I don't know anything about NASCAR stuff. But it was two bucks and I was like, I know enough about NASCAR stuff to know that if you can sell damn near any NASCAR shirt, Double-sided with a big graphic for 15 bucks. Um, a cool button-up shirt. Five bucks. That's... Cool button-ups are their worst item. Hands down. Still worth picking up. Their worst item is worth picking up. For sure. This one is kind of on the fence, but I just grabbed it. I was on such a damn roll. I was feeling so good. It's a Hot Topic shirt, but it has this cool like rebar pattern all over it. Five bucks. I do really, really well with Hot Topic goth stuff. This isn't really goth. This is more like Y2K, like almost like a, I don't even know what it is. It's kind of a cool shirt, honestly. I almost, I wouldn't wear it, but it's a cool shirt. Here's a semi vintage, I think it's early 2000s, the Nike team tag, that older one. Um, Sacramento Kings t-shirt. $5 on that one. I wish that one was $2. A lot of their t-shirts were $2, which is insane. This one was a flip of the dice. It's a, who is this guy? I think it's Kevin Durant. It's Kevin Durant. Um, it's like a really, really soft hooded athletic shirt for $5.99. I'm fairly certain I can get 20 bucks for that. Even if that was just standard Nike, I think I could get 20 bucks for that. I'm going to look up the style, but it's kind of a modern-ish style. It looks like something Kanye would have worn four years ago. Like one of those kind of dress shirts that are kind of longer. Here's a pretty basic one. It's just an REI co-op base layer shirt. Six bucks. It's a little, little high on these. But they always do sell, don't they? Um, some people like to leave comments and they say nice things like, thank you for your advice. I made a lot more money last month or whatever. I mean, that really feels good. It actually does. I'm like, oh. Cause after I make the video, I'm like, oh, that was a shitty video. They didn't, that wasn't helpful for anyone. Oh, here's a Vineyard Vines polo shirt for $5. Edgar Town polo. I didn't even look it up. I was just on a roll. I was feeling good. Feeling myself. Uh, girlfriend's doing great. She's finding all kinds of stuff. Here is a single stitch. Oh man, it's got a stain on it. It's okay. We'll throw it in the wash, see what happens. Single stitch on that cool looking old Hanes tag. Uh, Monterey Bay shirt. 
Only two dollars, so who cares about a stain, right? Beware the bangers. Where are they? They're in here somewhere. I'm gonna lose my mind if they disappear somewhere. Where are they? Here we go. Okay, so we went into this thrift store. It's in the hood. And my girlfriend, I've always said, oh, this is a hood thrift store. It's not in the hood hood, but it's just about the worst people imaginable in this thrift store. They're just the scum of the earth. Um, and my girlfriend finally verified it for me that yes, this is a scary thrift store to go to. Cause she said, I did not like that one. And then she said, you got the flu at that thrift store for sure. Um, but I walked in there and there was this guy, but I kind of know my way around the shady people. Um, there was this one guy, shut the fuck up, my neighbors. Um, and he, he goes over to the shoe section. And there's these two kids, these teenagers looking at some Nikes and he's like, those are cool, man. Those are cool. He's kind of doing that kind of thing. Like, hey, you see they got him in red too? And like, they don't want to talk to him. They're like, oh. And so I'm telling my girlfriend, stand right next to me. And she's dancing and stuff. And I tell her, stop dancing. Because with these kind of people, anything you do will start a conversation. If you do anything but look down like this, they will start talking to you. And you'll be stuck talking to them for however long you're in there. It's gonna be, you started a relationship with this person. So I'm telling her, do not dance. Do not even say anything to me. I'm telling her this because I don't wanna to talk to this guy. Spoiler, spoiler alert, we end up talking to him the whole entire time, basically. Um, so he, I, we, we escape talking to him. We're finding some stuff. I'm giving her stuff. She's throwing it in the cart. The kids leave, he leaves. I go over to his section and then this employee comes by this teenager and I see this guy on a hanger and I'm like, oh, oh, <laughs> so I run to the kid. I'm like, hey, can I see that shirt? I grab the shirt, look at the shirt, see the single stitch. I'm like, oh, bubs, bubs is what I call my girlfriend. Look, look, look what I found. I show her, I'm looking at it. It's the tweaker guy comes kind of back more in my area. He just starts, he perks up because I got excited. The tweaker is they can sense any kind of he probably wasn't a tweaker, but he was something. He was just a shady fellow. Um, it is a liquid blue from 2003, but it's on a single stitch shirt. And this is just a banger shirt. This is a, I'm gonna list this shirt for like $150. It's a banger, okay? And it was only what? $2. So I run over, I grab this shirt, I give it to my girlfriend and then my girlfriend comes to me. She's like, he has more, dummy. She tells me the employee still has more because I was so excited about finding this shirt I didn't even realize after that there's like multiple more that he has. This one, all over print, another liquid blue. Um, all of them are early 2000s though. They're still bangers. They're still going to be good. They're all going to be over $50 for sure. Um, but I'm going to list them super high. This one is awesome. $2. And then the guy sees. He says, hey, that was my shirt. And I look over, I'm like, fuck. He comes over, he's like, starts telling me he's a reseller. And I only have like three, I found another one. There's, I think there's one more that really good one in there somewhere. But anyways, so I get these three really cool shirts. Maybe four if there's another one. This one's got, he's like, um, do you mind pulling those out for me and letting me look at them? I won't touch them. I'm like, fuck. Shit, now it started. So then the guy starts talking to me. He's touching the shirts. He's like, what is that called? I'm like, it's a Coca Pelli. It's called a Coca Pelli, by the way. Um, and then he's like, he kind of goes away. He's like, you guys resell? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I resell. And then he starts doing some weird shit. He's in the aisle with me. He's handing me like boof junk shirts. And he's like, how about this one, man? And he's like, trying to. I, Realized what he's trying to do now. He's trying to like trade me for one of the good shirts. And I was like, no, that's not vintage. I don't want that. And he's like, oh, you only want vintage? And I'm like, no, I do other stuff. And then he pulls out some junky shirt. And he's like, I do stuff like this, like sportswear. And it was just some junky shirt. And then he goes away. And then from across the aisle, he's like, hey, man, you 
want to make a deal on one of those shirts? I'm like, ah, oh, no, honestly, I don't. I don't find these that often in the actual thrift. So I, did, I was like, sorry, dude. And then he also said that he makes deals with employees at thrift stores and they save him stuff. But he just sounded like he was completely full of shit. Just a total full of shit shady dude. Sorry if you're watching, man. You're totally not. He drove away in a car, so he wasn't... He at least had a car. Um, but he was shady. But anyways, me and my girlfriend, after I found him, I'm like, there's no way I'm letting... <laughs> I thought he was going to jump me. Because we're in, we're in an area where you can get jumped. And... Um, and he was like, are those Grateful Dead shirts? He wanted to know if they're, he thought they were Grateful Dead shirts, with their, which they're not. So I'm thinking like, oh, does he want to steal these shirts? Because if they were Grateful Dead shirts, they'd probably be worth like 500 bucks. Which is worth jumping me for. Now I'd like to say I'm 5'8 tall. I don't know how tall you imagine me. I'm 5'8, 5'7.75. I don't know how tall you think I am, but um, I was ready to die for those shirts. They might only be $50 shirts, but I was ready to die for them. Found a anti-hero skateboard shirt for $2. But the guy just kept circling the thrift store looking at us. And then there was another guy, an employee in there, who my girlfriend's, you know, having a good time. She's all dancing around. I'm like, you can't dance around here. You can't have fun here. Because the employee was like circling us and he kept looking at my girlfriend like this. Like looking at her body, doing a scan. And I was like, oh. So I'm like, she's talking to me and I'm like, stop. This guy is staring at us. And then every time I look at him, he looks at me in the eyes. It was freaking weird, dude. Just a weird, trashy area. This is not vintage, but it is some sort of political shirt from the early 2000s, which is kind of sick, honestly. It's a sick graphic. Cheney Powell Bush. Rumstead, and they're like supposed to be like gunslinging western guys so this is like kind of like a, a republican shirt but it's kind of sick honestly i might wear it i'm a um radical centrist is what they would call me i don't really i don't like politics i don't care about them at all um it's just all a bunch of bullshit i don't really care about I think you should only really care about politics if you're like 16 or 65. Uh, girlfriend found this Travis Matthew shirt size, I think a 3XL. It, the size is worn off, but it is huge. There we go. That should be fine. Girlfriend found this and it's potentially really, 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 really good. It is a blue fish shirt and I've seen Worse ones than this in the comps that sold for 99 bucks. In the men's section. Bluefish. And it's one of those companies that does the weird sizing. This is a size zero, but it's definitely not a zero. So ladies, do you know about this? Bluefish. But the comps were amazing. So we grabbed it. Excuse me. And there, while the man was scanning my girlfriend, I found these Travis Matthew... Uh, golf pants. And, oh my god, here's another banger, dude. Mountain Dew. Obviously a vintage hang tag. Is it made in USA? Yep. 100% cotton. Single stitch. Can you see that? $3. New old stock. Perfect condition. Mountain Dew. With the banger. Do the do on the back. I don't know what this is worth, but for $3, I'm a happy camper, dude. This is like insane to find in the thrift store. In a regular Goodwill for $3. That's what's sick about the hood. The, I should call them hood wills. The hood wills have the best stuff because they're, it's not stuff from the hood. It's stuff from all over. Am I still filming? If I'm not filming, I would be so pissed. This is the longest video ever. Um... So I gotta hurry up before my phone explodes. Here's a pair of vintage Levi Silver Tab jean shorts. Not good right now. I picked them up anyways because they will be good in a couple months. Here's another banger vintage one. Camel. Um, 1997, where it's at. And that is the Camel logo. The tag does not say Camel. 
It's some bullshit made in El Salvador weird company. But it is single stitch. But I think I should be able to market this as a camel cigarette shirt or something like that. Where it's at. I don't know. I think it'll be fine. It was only $3. And single stitch. It looks like a cigarette shirt. Which uh, vintage cigarette shirts do great. Here's a territory head shirt. More basic stuff. Four or five bucks. But man, I'm so excited about all the vintage stuff. I And I waited for that man. to. He circled for like 30 minutes looking at me. Um, and I waited for him to leave. He left the store. Then I ran over to the door and I watched him get in the car. Because I was not about to leave that store until he was gone. So I just don't want to get uh, beat up. And have my stuff. I will take the knife for my stuff. I was going to fight back. You know, I've thought about it before. Like if a homeless guy tries to stab me and steal my iPhone, he can have it. Even though that iPhone is more valuable than those vintage shirts, I would rather fight back for the vintage shirts because I worked so damn hard to find them. You know, iPhones, you can just easily find another one. Those are 511 Tactical Shorts. Girlfriend found those. Travis Matthew. Board shorts. Way out of season, but it's fine. Those are $5. Here's another identical camel single stitch. T-shirt from 1997 for $3. Are we still recording? This is just... If it goes too long, it's going to explode. And this is all the same thrift store. We've never... My girlfriend says she's never been with me where, like, we found this much stuff. For 6 bucks, a vintage 1996 Olympics crew neck sweatshirt with the tag. Like, what? The vintage 1996 Olympics stuff... Unless it's like super duper cool, isn't that great actually? But I mean, that one's dead stock, so still pretty sick. Pair of Amazon Luli Ying employee work shorts. Yeah, men's. Those are super duper bread and butter and they sell pretty quick if you price them right. They're all identical, so it's always a race to the bottom with things that are identical. Whatever the cheapest size medium is going to be the first to sell. So you cannot price them high because it's not like there's a variety of different colors. They're all just black pants. So you have to price them at the bottom of the market or they're not going to sell. But they sell instantly because there's a bajillion Amazon employees that are looking for them. Uh, here is another Travis Matthew shirt. This one is a size 2XL for $2. Like, that's insane. Goodwills don't have those prices around here. And then that girl from the other thrift store came into this thrift store. So then I go run over to my girlfriend and hide. Um, NRS. I think they make kayaking clothing. Not 100% sure. During the summer, this is a really, really good company. Right now, the uh, sell rate on a lot of things that I've looked up from them is not great. But during the summer, it sells incredibly, incredibly well. I think it's a kayaking company. I'm not 100% sure. But they make these compression shorts. They're like a neoprene short. And those, over the summer, those are way, way over 100% sell through it. So look out for those. And then last but not least, um, a Stance t-shirt, which do pretty well. These actually sell for like 20 bucks. Stance makes socks. And this was, this was five bucks, which is actually kind of a lot for that thrift store. Is that everything? I'm actually not going to show you this stuff from this other thrift store. Here's an example of one thing though. A vintage uh, Nebraska Huskers in USA crew neck sweatshirt. So I'll have that be the last item. I just don't have the energy or the phone storage to film anymore. So thank you for watching.